Today I'll show you how I mix my guitars to sound like this. I'll be mixing the guitars for the song I wrote for this video. If you haven't seen it yet, you can click in the upper right corner to go to that video. Small disclaimer, of course this is only how I mix my stuff. Of course there are a million ways to mix, and no way is necessarily better than the other. If it sounds good, it doesn't matter how you got there. So let's disable the processing and go through how I mix each track, starting with the rhythm guitars. So the rhythm guitars in this song is quad tracked, so we have two sets of double tracked guitars here, each going into their own plugin chain and then sent off to rhythm guitar bus. So this is what the guitar DI sounds like. So first up, we have an EQ. I'm a big fan of EQing my guitars before it hits the amp. It gives me a chance to tighten it up a bit. So for the rhythm guitars here, first and foremost, we eliminate some of the really lows, as that tends to muddy up the guitar tone. And then next, we roll off some more of the lows here, and also some of the low mids here at around 300 Hz, just to basically eliminate some of the mud in the guitar tone. And then we do a small boost here at 1.4 kilohertz. This tends to make the guitar tone a bit more gentle so to speak. And we're also eliminating some of the highs here to reduce some of the string noise. And also a low pass here set at 12.5 kilohertz. And then that goes into Archetype Gojira. So first up we have the overdrive pedal engaged here with the dist set to zero and the level turned all the way up and the tone fairly high as well. This further tightens up the guitar tone a bit. Let's listen to what this pedal does. It also boosts the gain of the guitar tone before it hits the amp, so we don't need to have that much gain as well. Let's have a look at the amp here. So gain set fairly low, and we have most of the knobs set at around noon with small boosts to the highs and the presents. So after the amp, it runs into a graphical EQ as well, basically eliminating some of the lows and low mids, boosting some of the mids, and also decreasing some of the high mids and highs as well. And then for the cab, I have a dual mic combo here. So we have a classic SM57 here, which gives quite a direct and aggressive sound. Let's listen to what that mic sounds like. And then we also have a condenser 414 mic here, which gives a bit more depth to the sound. Let's listen to what that mic sounds like. And let's listen to what they sound like together. So for the second set of rhythm guitar tracks, it's actually the exact same chain. And also, let's actually listen to what this EQ before the amp does. I'll switch between having it on and off and see if you can notice the difference. So these two sets of rhythm guitar tracks is then fed into a bus here. So first we have a very simple EQ here. We got a high pass at 150 Hz. We're cutting some of the lows and some of the low mids. Also cutting some of the harshness in the high mids here. And then we have some console saturation on top of that. And also some more saturation here. Let's listen to what these plugins does to the tone. So that's it for the rhythm guitar tone. By the way, if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Let's go over to the lead tracks here. So for this lead, I actually have a delay before the amp, as I thought that worked well for the track. And then we go straight into Archetype Kojira. This is actually based on the rhythm guitar tone as well, but we don't have an overdrive pedal here, as that is disabled. So for the amp here, we have a fairly similar setup. Gain set fairly low, and most of the knobs set at around 
noon with some small boosts to high and presence. We also have the same graphical EQ and the same cab setup. We also have an EQ here, which actually looks almost the same. And then that is fed to a reverb with just a simple bandpass EQ before and then that going into the reverb. So let's listen to this track. Let's go over to the clean guitar track here. It sounds like this. So what you're gonna notice on this track is that it has a bunch of compressors and the reality is I was probably a bit too inconsistent when I recorded it. So I needed to reduce the, the dynamic range a bit. So these two first compressor actually adds a nice bit of saturation as well and color to the sound, which I really liked. So these first two compressors basically just takes the peaks of the DI track as to not overload the following compressors. So here we have another compressor with fast attack and fast release in a 4 to 1 ratio and another compressor here and I also got the multiband compressor here as well and then a limiter at the end. So that's a whole lot of compressors but I feel like many times a compressor is needed for clean guitar tones especially in a dense mix because while distorted guitars naturally compress the tone a heavy amount but clean guitar tones don't have that advantage. So oftentimes it needs to be compressed fairly heavily and I have this set up here with multiple compressors because I want the compressors to share the load and not overload one specific compressor. All right, so that all goes into Archetype Gojira with the clean amp and the clean cab here. So gain set fairly low and the rest of the knobs basically at noon. We have a post amp graphical EQ here and we have the cab section here with just an SM57 pointed right at the cone. And then that goes into an EQ which is essentially just a bandpass with some minor cuts to the high mids and the low mids and lows. This is then sent to two delay tracks here. This is actually is something I really like to do. So I have two delay tracks. One of them panned 100% left and the other one panned 100% right with slightly differing delay times. It helps widen the sound a bit. And then the clean guitar is also sent to reverb, which I think is basically the same as the lead reverb. It then sounds like this. So that's the clean guitar. Let's go over to the ambient guitars now. So this is basically the rhythm guitar tone, but I drown it in reverb. So we have the same setup here with an EQ before the amp. And I think it's actually the exact same patch as the rhythm guitar. That then goes into a bandpass, which then goes into a reverb. And we also have some console saturation on that. And it goes into this center plugin, which widens the sound a bit. It then sounds like this. So that's all the guitar tracks. Let's listen to what it sounds like in the mix. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, there might be another video on the screen that might also be in your interest. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.